Hi, Grant Ching with the Grant Ching Water Boxing Association here. So this is the second in a series of videos I'll be doing to introduce water boxing. So in the first video, I spoke about how structure is arguably the most important element, at least in the very beginning, and it's something that we focus on, especially in our approach to water boxing. You may notice if you go onto YouTube and watch other videos of water boxers from different lines, that they do things a little bit differently sometimes. For example, in the beginning of Juji, you may see other practitioners of the art do something like this. Whereas you'll see us perform the same movement in Juji like this. So why the difference? Well, our approach is that the contact point being the wrist, having the elbow under the wrist gives greater support to this structure. You can actually practice this on yourself by putting some stress on that contact point. It's harder to resist the force on the wrist if your arm is straight compared to if you use the elbow. You can also practice it with a partner. Okay, so now with the help of a partner, you can test your structure. So if I extend my arm out and she presses down, it's actually very hard to do. It's hard for me to hold that force off in that direction. If I have my elbow underneath, it's easier for me to hold that line. Um, you do have to understand that the force is going to be in one vector for now. Of course, if she changes the vector, she may be able to do that. But we're going to address that a little bit later um, in a different video.